I'm Ivy Spade, a senior TV major here at Fairfield University. And in this student spotlight, we profile a member of the men's basketball team, Sean Crawford, who shaved his head for a great cause. Ask him why he's bald and Sean Crawford would say, For the cause, just to let kids know that um, they're not alone in this process. He took part in Fairfield's version of the St. Baldrick's Fundraiser. It's an event where people have their heads shaved to help spread awareness of childhood cancer. Sometimes we get so caught up in everything that goes on from day to day basis and never really take the time out to appreciate the little things. It was a charity that struck him personally. From the beginning, he felt a sense of purpose that he needed to get involved in this initiative. I've lost someone very close to me recently and I know how it feels. He knows the pain of losing somebody. Recently, his brother was killed by a drunken driver. So he used that tragedy as motivation to promote the event and grab student support. It kind of touched me because I don't want them to feel like they're alone, so I'm for the cause. When I, I started spreading the word about this, he, came, he actually came to me with the idea to make the video and spread the video. Once I heard about it from Crystal, it was like I was all in. He also got his teammates to help. Jamel Fields, Keegan Hyland, and Rakim Sanders all were convinced to shave their heads as well. I see, I seen a good friend doing something for a good cause, and it just made me just want to want to help him out. And my grandfather actually died from cancer, so it just it made it that much easier for me to go ahead and do it. In the middle of it, I really thought that I'm doing this for fun. When these kids are, they don't have no choice. And me being 24, I can only imagine what four or five year old child may don't even know what's going on. And he helped in a way that nobody else could. Being a basketball player helped him give the charity some national exposure. They are doing it for a good cause, Joe, to raise money for the St. Baldrick's Foundation for Childhood Cancer Research. You see the finished product there. You see Sean Crawford, who was the person who organized it getting the Fairfield basketball players involved. A lot of people commented on our ball heads during the um, first game back. Why are you ball? You want to be Michael Jordan? Like, little silly things. But then when I told them I did it for a cause, you know, a kid had cancer and I wanted to be in their shoes. And for real, when did this take place? When did you guys do this? How does it feel? Then I felt in a way it brought more awareness to the cause. Words can't explain the support and love that uh, people showed to me in the time I needed it. And to see people shave their heads for people they didn't even know, last minute, coming out to donate and support the cause, it really meant a lot. Or in the case of Fairfield Junior Ivy Spate Television for this program. I've had the opportunity to write, edit, and produce a segment in which the Fairfield student athletes show off their talents for a good cause. It was a night where the athletes showed off their talents. But it wasn't all about the performances. The true purpose ran much deeper. She's a, she's a gorgeous little girl. You know, it's very, very sad that, you know, she doesn't have fun. So it's great that we're doing this for her. And it was a graceful night. Fairfield's athletic community gathered at Alumni Hall for a unique fundraiser, a talent show to raise money for the Grace Ivanko Foundation. It's a local charity, it's a local girl that we can get involved with, and the kids, some of the kids had a chance to meet her last week, and it uh, makes it even more special. Grace is a second grader who is suffering from an inoperable brain tumor, and Fairfield's Student Athletic Advisory Committee saw an opportunity to help. All the money we raise is going straight to Grace to help with medical costs, medical bills. They were not alone. All the varsity teams united and performed for the cause. We're doing everything we can to help her out, so this is what everything's for, man. We love you, Grace, and we raised all this money for you. While they are used to performing for their sport, on this night they performed for a greater cause. We are here for such a great little girl and awesome experience. Always doing it for the cause. That's why we're here right now. It was a night full of dancing, singing, and even eating, giving the athletes something to smile about. Yeah, I mean, I can assure you that this will be the last time I'm going to be wearing a, be wearing a dress at Alumni Hall. But, uh, but, you know, if we, have a, if we have another cause like this, you know, I'm, uh, I'm more than willing to do it. The event was a success. They not only raised their goal of $1,500, but they welcomed Grace into the Fairfield community. 
a show of support that will last a lifetime. You couldn't imagine how humbling it is for our, our family and what we're going through to have somebody or a group of kids that are in college to think of us and to do something so unique and, and uh, special for our daughter. It's tremendous. I mean, words really couldn't, couldn't say how grateful we are and thankful we are for that. Short, Barrow tips the rebound over to Nick. It's a nice pass to Olander, who jams it home. <laughs> Olander has it, left corner for three, and it goes in. Barrow inside to Matthews, all alone, and he jams it through. Ties the career high right there, he's got 15. Bring it around, they find Bean as a playmaker. The fade away, three, and he hits it. They call it a long two. Over to Fields, he jumps and makes the catch. Fields divides his defender, gives it off to Barrow, off the glass, he's got 18. Fields does not have numbers, a one on three, but he finishes anyway. And Sanders steals the ball, he's all alone, and the one-handed jam, he brings it home. Wow, he brought the roof down right there. The Stags will slow it down. The fans on their feet, 1,492 fans that paid to see this Fairfield Stags team come in and advance to the Elite Eight of the CIT. They defeat Manhattan 69-57 for the first time in program history. They have won two games in the postseason. The Stags have moved to 21 and 14. It feels good. I mean, not too many teams are playing right now. We're just happy to keep playing. And, I mean, at this, this time, it's all about playing hard, and that's what we came, came out of did, play hard. Hello, everybody. I'm Miami Spate, and this is what's happening this week in Stag Country. Bellamine is on campus. No, not the building, but the university. That's right. The men's lacrosse team will look to go above 500 in the ECAC as they take on the Kentucky school. The Stags will try to forge closer into the national poll as they try to slay the Knights. Saturday, April 2nd at 1 p.m. Since the end of 2007, the Fairfield University women's lacrosse team has only lost two games in their max schedule. They have gone on an 18-game regular season conference winning streak, and they look to make a 19 as they start their 2011 conference slate. They will be taking on the only team to beat them. That's right, the Marist Red Foxes have defeated them twice in the last three years. Both times came in the championship game, including last year's battle for the title. The rivalry continues Sunday, April 3rd at 1 p.m. It's two for the price of one. Nothing better in the spring than a good old-fashioned doubleheader. And the softball team will try to do their best to pitch that idea as they take on Columbia. Fairfield takes on the Ivy League school. Hey, they stole my name. Fairfield will try to tame the Lions Tuesday, April 5th at 3 p.m. They saw their dreams come crashing down on the tennis court in Flushing Meadow. Believe me, that's not the first time a team's dream has ended in Flushing. I'm a Mets fan, but the Stags will take on the same team to defeat them in the championship game last year. Guess who? That's right, Maris, the Red Foxes again. And the Stags will try to hunt down those Red Foxes Wednesday, April 6th at 3 p.m. It's rivalry week. Try to amend all those losses because after all, this is a brand new year. That's your week of sports, and I'm Ivy State for next week. Go Stags!